one two two of my hair is white and rest all the hair is black hair do you know why only two of my hair is white and rest along is black uh, my name is Jobi Tepara Samar I'm a certified fitness coach and in this video I'm going to talk about hair health what are some of the things you have to do if you really want a healthy and beautiful hair look at my hair I keep types of hair black hair and white hair and if I take one of this black hair and put it in a microscope this hair is having three layers so to better understand what is that three layer I will use this pencil as an example so if you look at this pencil also have three layers there is an outer layer there is a middle layer and there is a center layer so this pencil is made up of three layers similar like that your hair is made up of three layers and each layer is very important each layer is deciding the strength of the hair and the color of the hair. Most of the hair is made up of a protein called keratin. If all the hair is made up of keratin, we all will have same hair, but we don't have same hair, right? Why this is happening? Because only 91% of the hair is made up of this keratin and rest of them is made up of a hormone called melanin. Melanin is created by a cell called melanocytes. There are two types of melanin we all have. One is eumelanin and the other one is pheomelanin. And this eumelanin and pheomelanin ratio is different. And this ratio is deciding the color of the hair. For example, I have black hair. This is because I have too much of eumelanin. The color of the hair is determined by this melanin and the strength of the hair is determined by the protein. Sometimes some people experience in hair fall. Why this hair fall and hair growth is happening? Better understand, I am going to use mungo beans as an example. I have this mungo beans in this jar. If I put mungo beans in a jar, do you think this mungo beans is going to sprout? It doesn't sprout. But if I take this mungo bean and put it in a pot, put some water and keep it outside, this mungo bean is going to slowly start sprouting, right? So if I want this mungo bean to sprout, I have to take out this mungo bean, put it into a soil that is nutrient rich. I also have to feed this soil with water and sun. I provide all these things, this mungo bean is going to sprout. I also have to take care of this, this environment, right? If I allow the weed to grow, this mungo bean is not going to grow very strong. Similar like that, your hair is like that. Your hair is located in, in the skin. Scalp. scalp is similar like the soil. If the scalp is not healthy, the scalp cannot absorb any nutrient. This can affect the strength of the hair, color of the hair. Everything can be affected. So your scalp is the soil. Where this scalp getting nutrients? It's getting from the gut. So gut is also connected with the health of your hair. So if you want a healthy hair, you want to make sure your gut is healthy, scalp is healthy, you are getting enough protein, you are eating enough protein, your body is also making enough melanin hormones. If you don't have enough melanin production, that can affect the color, that can affect the strength, that can affect many things. So now what are the, some of the things you can do to get a healthy and beautiful hair? So first thing is we are washing our hair most of the time. But do you know that water you are using is really healthy? The water is having too much of fluoride that can affect health of your skin, that can affect the scalp health. So make sure your water is really healthy, doesn't have any fluoride. Second thing is we are also using soaps and shampoos most of the day. I hope you use some type of shampoos and soap. Your shampoo and soap also can destroy the health of this scalp and, and skin. So if you are using a sulfate based soap or shampoo that can destroy the hair, this is because sulfate can stop absorption of protein. Make sure that if you are using a shampoo or if you are using a soap, make sure this is sulfate free. So what are the other things that can really affect the health of your hair? One thing is make sure you are eating enough protein, enough nutrients. Vegetarian people are lacking a lot of this protein. Lysine is one of the important amino acids that is going to decide the health of your hair. So if you're not eating enough lysine rich food, that can affect your hair health. So make sure you are eating enough protein, good quality protein, egg have lysine, red meat have lysine. Unfortunately, vegetable proteins doesn't have enough lysine. So if you are a vegetarian, make sure you're, you're getting enough lysine through some other source. Another thing that can affect your hair health is stress. I'm not talking about just a simple stress, I'm talking about chronic stress. Stress that is staying in your head for a long time. So if you are experiencing chronic stress, that can affect the health of your hair. Not only hair, it can affect your overall health. There are a couple of methods to find out if you have stress related issues, more details explained in my book. If you didn't get a copy of my book, make sure you get it. In that book, you can also find what you have to eat to solve this problem. What exercise you can do to change this condition. Stress is another important thing that can affect. Another thing is maybe you are eating enough protein and uh, enough nice food and everything. If your gut is not healthy, that can also affect because nutrient absorption is happening in the gut. And if the gut is not healthy, 
your body is not going to absorb nutrients. Imagine what is going to happen if this mungo beans cannot absorb enough nutrients. It's not going to sprout, it's not going to grow. So similar like that, if your body cannot absorb enough nutrients, that can not only affect your hair health, it can also affect the entire body. You may experience different problems if your body cannot absorb nutrients. So make sure you also check your gut health. If you have stomach upset, stomach issues, you know, after eating certain food, if your body is making some problems, then this is all an indication that you have gut issues. Make sure you solve this problem as well. Another important thing that can affect the health of your hair is the medications. You go to a doctor, doctor will give you a pills, but most of the pills have a side effect. What is the side effect? Hair fall is one of the side effect that can happen with certain medications. So make sure if you're consuming medications, make sure you understand what are the side effects. I have seen some of my clients are uh, having thyroid issues. I asked them how long you have to eat this thyroid medication. They don't have an answer. They're saying that I am eating this thyroid medications every day. What exactly this means? This means that you, this medication is not meant to solve the problem. This medication is a temporary, temporary solution. It's not going to solve the problem permanently. So you need to find out why you have certain situation. There is a root reason why you are having this situation. So understand this root, find out this root cause, solve the root. If your doctor is saying eat till you die, you need to run away from that medications. This is my friendly advice for you. Do we need to apply any oil in order to keep our hair healthy? The simple answer is no. The skin have the ability to make oil. A good example is if you just do this, and if you, you can feel that your hand is oily now. This is simply means that your skin have the ability to create oil. So if your body need oil, your skin is able to create that oil. So you don't need to apply any extra oil, but if you are using oil, some of the oil is very healthy. One oil, which is really healthy, according to the studies is coconut oil. So coconut oil is a healthy option. This oil is different, coconut oil is different. Best oil is the oil that your body is producing. Coconut oil is the second best. If your body is already making oil, then you don't need to apply too much of any type of oils. And if you are using oil, make sure what type of oil you are using. Do coconut oil is my recommendation. Eat nutritious food, reduce your stress, check your water. If you are using any chemicals in your body, make sure that is sulfate free. If you are using any sulfate that can stop absorption of certain nutrients, including protein. And if you are going through chronic stress, this is when you need to eat a lot of protein because stress can block certain nutrients. And one of the nutrients stress can block is this amino acids important amino acid it will block the absorption of this amino acid if you are going through stress and this is when you experience hair fall and things like that so if you are experiencing any of these things find out what exactly is the reason if the scalp is not really healthy because of the shampoo you are using then give it a test by not using shampoo for certain day and if you have any questions about this topic make sure you add a comment this is a small youtube channel and i need your help to grow so make sure to share this video give it a, a like i will see you next week with another interesting video take care and have a nice day